quarter could be a huge quarter for these teams. Maybe not necessarily to set it, uh, you know, the first the team that leads after this quarter, but to not let either team let this game get away from them. Northern Valley exit their man-to-man -man and starts in the 2-1-2 zone. Wide open, deep three taken there on the first possession by um, Hare, higher and it's going to miss. Northern Valley will control. Cox to Blecka looking inside to Spear. Spear with the left hand is going to turn around. How does it swat it? But she gets her own rebound. Braxton uh, over here. Uh, the Wheatland Grinnell is in a box and one scenario. Looks like they've got boxed up Austin Cox. Mary Baird is going to take that shot opportunity and it's Looks blocked like again. The Thunderhawks blocked two of the of the Northern Valley Lady Huskies' first two shots. Yeah, both teams are looking to really set the tone here at the beginning of the game. Inbounding here is Braxton Cox. She's going to find Jaden Spear over here in the corner to Blecka. Over to Braxton Cox. I thought she was going to have the three opportunity there. Austin Cox all the way to the rim, up and in. Her two points for the first two points for the Northern Valley Huskies. And that might be what we have to see more of tonight. The Thunderhawks are usually pretty stout on defense, and I'm sure this is no exception. Yeah, uh, great, good aggressive play there by Austin. They're really sagging in here on this 2-1-2. Two, two. Going to force them to beat them outside. Kind of a mishap. She's going to steal in there, but she's going to be called for the travel. Austin Cox dove after that ball in there. Good thing that the, and those knee pad investments is paying off for her dad, huh? There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's my daughter there. And, and uh, aim here on the cameraman and the color. His sister's there underneath Miss Mary Baird. But we'll try not to be too partial here as we're working here for OpenSpacesSports.com. Another three fired up there. Just long uh, Braxton Cox with the rebound. Hare, uh, higher with the second three opportunity on that one. Northern Valley working a little offense here. A three up and no good here by Blecka. Ball will be turned over as she missed it all, and uh, the Thunderhawks will take over. Not a bad look, just didn't get enough underneath it there. Inside the Thunderhawks go. Nice interior passing. Shot's going to go up and in. Nice play. Livy Schultz with her first two bucket of the first two points of the night. Cox half court pass to Spear over to Mary Baird's going to attack the rim and go up for the shot and up and in she goes around uh, Schultz to make that bucket her first bucket of the game. And both these teams are running to start the game. Hopefully they can pace themselves. Like I said, though, this is going to be fast paced and physical as long as they can hold up. Yeah, another shot opportunity from the outside there by. Uh, Godak, she's going to follow again with another three. And this she time she connects go. and she makes it. Anna Godek, well, the 5 6 junior, capitalizes on that three as the Thunderhawks now take the lead. Austin Cox is going to break and kick it back to Braxton. Miss Mary Barrett outside to Cox. Looks like they've gone into a straight man to man now instead of the. Instead of the uh, the box and one scenario, whistle out front is going to be a travel on Austin. Five four, Wheatland Grinnell with a lead gets the ball inside again. Shot is up and in. Great play there by Osmeyer, Isabella Osmeyer with that bucket. The five nine junior. Cox with another turnover here. Godak was going to capitalize with another deuce. No, excuse me, that was Osmeyer with two straight buckets. Co Coach Cox is going to... This is giving them a little bit of problems. They're going to need to have a little bit more movement up front, people helping, running to the ball, getting them open, because right now there's a lot of standing around, and uh, that's just bad news if you let Wheatland Grinnell get you in those corners here on the wrong side of the court. Rebound here by the Huskies. Miss Andromeda uh, uh, Hauserman, uh, that came into the game here. She fires a long two. It's going to be off to the side. Here is Skip pass there. Skip Hare goes into Haberger, and she knocks it down. A lot of everybody's scoring, scoring there for the, the Thunderhawks. Is that press like you're talking about right there, making it difficult. Austin Cox comes away with it. She's going to press the issue a little bit and going to come back and get the ball into Spear. Spear turns and faces. 
Back out front to Braxton. She's going to set the offense here. Get some movement. And floor spacing is going to be really important for Northern Valley on this side. They're, like I said, Wheeling Grinnell is pretty stout on defense, so you're going to want to open them up so that way you can slash and get to the hoop. Just right there, what Miss Mary Bear did, I mean, they're going to play that tight man-to-man -man defense. you got to be able to go around them on that occasion. She kind of loses the ball there for a little bit, but gets it back on a tie-up. Austin Cox to inbound. End of the game is for the first time. It's Miss Stephanie Whitney. A good look right there. Great play. Two Jayden points, Spear. Jaden Spear. Northern Valley capitalizes on the inbounds, but they're still trailing 11 to 6 here at home with 3.30 to go in the quarter. Deflection in there by Andy Hauserman, the 5'5 junior with active hands there. Go deck to fire another three. Go deck to make another three. She's got the hot hand. She's from hot. The She's right got now. eight of the 14 here early and on for the Thunderhawks. Man, this press is just giving them problems, isn't it? It is. You got to use the space that's given to you there. And Whitney uh, now makes it. Cox is going to take it to the goal. Going to reverse course. She thought about a three there. Cox will take the three. It's going to come up way short, but Jaden Spear with the rebound up and in. Nice work there by Jaden Spear, her second bucket. She's working hard down there right now. Northern Valley back into that zone. Steal here by Spear, and it was they're going to get a foul call. Otherwise, Spear's going the other way for a nice layup. Haley Hatterberger is uh, – Haberger, excuse me. I don't know why I'm messing that one up. Haberger, she's going to have her first foul. The visiting team, the uh, Wheatland's first foul, the first foul of the game. Yeah, they're playing pretty Seven clean plus minutes right into now. the game. Whitney going for the long pass. Baird controls it. Gets knocked away, but she still continues it. Whitney's going to look here, see where she's going with it. They're still playing this tight man-to-man -man offense, and Northern Valley girls, they just want to kind of go around them real quick here. There's a nice fought in there again. It'll be tied up this time. It'll go over to Wheatland Grinnell. I'm sure that won't be the last jump ball we see this game. That's for sure. No, these girls are, are, are scrappy, man. That ball hits the floor. It's like everybody's going after it. The coaches have taught them, we got to get every loose ball here tonight if we want to win. Long three by Godak, and she knocks another she one down. Miss right 11 now. in the first quarter for Godak. She's... It's about time for a heat check, isn't it, Aim? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I thought she was going to I thought she was going to yank to that one here pretty quick. Northern right. Valley's got to identify the shooter. When you're on, you're on. Yep, here's Hauserman with a nice steal there. She'll bring it up the left side. The Thunderhawks are now in a 2-3 zone defense, just trying to switch it up here against Northern Valley, uh, trying to keep them off guard, keep them confused. As Mary swings it, it was a skip pass to Austin. Northern Valley looking for some movement to help Austin out there. Austin with a crazy shot that almost goes in, but it doesn't matter because who's there? Jaden Spear with her second offensive rebound and putback. She's got six. She's cleaning up the glass pretty well right now, and it's keeping Northern Valley in this one. Spears all over in the corner. Called for the travel. I didn't know what he was calling there. He called for the travel. Northern Valley will control as Tania Spear making her first appearance into the game. Mary Baird sits, and uh, for the Thunderhawks, looks like Madison Czar in, the 5'9 freshman. Cox inbounds to Spear. That's Jaden. Jaden to Tania gets knocked away by Godek. She's everywhere right now. Northern Valley will inbound here on the side. Tight camera angle, Baird, uh, angle there, Baird. Nice work. Toughest shot in the gymnasium. Here's Spear. She's going to eye a shot. It's going to be short. Rebound, go deck. Go deck's leading this team as, as we come under a minute here. She's going to get called for the travel there in the corner. Maybe a bit of a quick step there by uh, Livy Schultz. End of the game, Jordan Beckman for the Thunderhawks. 
another freshman out there. A lot of young players out here. As we work under a minute, 17-10, the Thunderhawks with the early lead here in the first quarter. Inbound inside to Spear. She makes a move, and the foul's going to go against Czar there. Northern Valley uh, will take it out of bounds. Just the second team foul, first foul for Czar on the night. Um, a pretty clean game when it comes to fouls. We talked about free throws being a problem. Well, free throws are going to be a problem because we're not going to get them any shot, it looks like to me. That's right. Uh, nice pass in there, but not going to be able to convert. It's a little crow hop there as uh, Andy Hauserman travels. Shaley Vesteca now into the game as Cox sits. Also, uh, Bleck is going to return, and uh, Jaden Spear to sit. A whole new five from the starting side is in for the Huskies, back into their 2-1-2 defense, see if they can identify Miss Anna Godek. She controlled everything when it came to the volleyball season for the Thunderhawks, if I remember right, as the setter. She had nice, smooth hands there. She's got a great outside shot here tonight. Nice little dribble in there and shot attempt by Schultz is gonna go begging. Here comes Tania Spear. With under 25, Jordan Beckman's gonna get whistled for that push foul as Spear was trying to get around her on the side. Vesteca to inbound here to Whitney. Right back to Vesteca as Northern Valley will swing, get the wide open shot by Hauserman. I thought that was gonna go. Good Could ball move rebound there. controlled by uh, Beckman out to Godek and they'll set. 10 seconds left to go in the quarter. That's what you can have. Godek for another one, boom. Four three-pointers in the first quarter for Godek. is going to bring up the 20 to 10 lead. Out behind Anna Godek. Four threes in another bucket that was a long two to start this game. There's, nobody was paying attention there as, as, as we start the second quarter. Going to go right back over, but the story. Whoa, Anna Godek. Somebody's going to have to step up. Man, that girl yeah. looked like Steph Curry there in the first <laughs> quarter. I think Northern Valley is doing what they wanted to do coming out here, but Anna Godek had other plans. As uh, right here, it looks to be the best defense for the Huskies right now is Godek's going to start the quarter on the bench. And, uh, and, and the uh, Thunderhawks will swing it around against this zone. Wide open Schultz. She's going to make it. No, that's, yeah, that's Livy Schultz. She's going to nail the three. A lot of opportunity that is getting cashed in for, from the deep for the Thunderhawks as Northern Valley's gonna turn it over. It looked like Vesteca took an extra step there. Um, wow, Northern Valley might have to come out of this zone. I, I, I started the broadcast saying, let them win it from the outside. I, I, well, they're I winning it from wrong. the outside right now. I mean, they're, they're letting them, and Wheeling Grinnell is capitalizing. And just as I say that, it looks like Coach Cox is gonna go match up zone here or not, excuse me, match up man to man. We got a discussion out there. I really wasn't paying much attention here uh, to what the officials were talking about here. I thought it was a simple uh, turnover there as uh, uh, Vesteca took some steps. Is Vesteca, is it a question of whether she's in the books or? I'm not sure what's going on right now. I missed it, but uh, um, Northern Valley's going to come out in this man-to-man, -man and, and what does Wheatland Grinnell got to do? Well, they're going to have to slash now and try to get to the basket. They're going to want to work inside, um, and Northern Valley, of course, is trying to shut down the perimeter right now. They're going to have to move their feet and stay in front of the people they're defending. All about movement here. Let's see what the Thunderhawks can come up with. Here's Beckman. I'm not sure. She she was she saw a wide open Schultz going through the to the rim there and uh, couldn't get her the ball. She ended up traveling Jordan Beckman, the freshman, just one of those freshman deals. We've got them on both sides here tonight. Northern Valley facing this zone defense now as they're gonna swing all the way over. Austin Cox is gonna have a wide open three, just long, rebound control, Vesteca over to Cox again. Gonna be called for the travel as uh, she's a little frustrated with that one, but here is Godek and Livy Schultz gonna come back in here. And uh, where we gotta do, we're gonna match up. We gotta guard Godek. Yep, she's the one with the hot hand right now. You need to see if you can slow her down at least a little bit and you know, force other people to try to score because right now she's scoring at will. 
they're going to break this press by clearing out and letting Godek just go at Vesteca here. She makes it easy. Over to Schultz and in the corner. That's Haberger. Haberger inside to Godek, turns, misses that one as Vesteca with the good defense, and Jaden Spear with a nice rebound and push here for the Huskies. Northern Valley's got to continue to try and push the ball inside here a little bit as that pass goes awry from Hauserman, but um, uh, Braxton, Cox, and Mary Baird come in as Bleck and Vesteca sit, but uh, Northern Valley cannot just settle for that outside shot. No, they cannot. They need quick, sharp passes, try to find something open, see if someone on the Wheatland Grinnell side is a little slow to get to their position, and then try to get it inside and see if they can get a bucket for two, and maybe even get fouled and get to the charity stripe. Yeah, Mary Barrett here with the steal is, is the man-to-man -man defense, pays off here right away, tries to get anxious with it, but Braxton's not going to be able to control it. Over to Godek. A little lack of communication on that one. Yeah, as Godek's going to do and the same thing like twice in a row, way. Northern Valley switches up the defense, goes into that man-to-man, -man, and indecision, it causes a turnover um, by Wheatland Grinnell. 23-10, Wheatland Grinnell with a, out to an early lead here. Into the second quarter with six minutes to go. Mary Barrett inside. She's going to travel. That's what I thought it, she was. She had one step in, and then she pulled that pivot foot back. It was a travel before she could get the ball up to the rim. Good defense there by the Thunderhawks. Osmeyer to inbound to Godak. She's working on Braxton Cox here in the man-to-man -man situation. Cut to the bucket, Godek with the left hand up and in. There's nothing that girl cannot do. And that's what you do not want to happen when you're switching over to the man-to-man -man there. You got to keep your person you're defending in front of you. you. Can't let them have those easy back doors to the basket. 16 in the game for Godek. Northern Valley's got to get a little more movement here if they're going to do something offensively. It looks like a lot of one-on-one -on -one situations here. Not real good for a team effort. We got to have some movement. Here's Cox, now now we're starting to get We get inside to Spear. Spear turns and shoots, misses, but she's digging for that rebound. And we're going to have a hell ball. Northern Valley will have it underneath. Streaking inside, Miss Mary Baird. She's going to get it up, but she's going to be fouled right there. She will go to the line to shoot two. Miss Mary Baird right to the free throw line for her. Haberger gets the foul. That's her second, fourth on the Thunderhawks on the night. Baird's first free throw up and in for Mary. Giving her three on the night. Second one also good. We could use a hot night from Mary Baird. But there isn't anybody hotter right now than Anna. Anna Godek. Uh, they don't even want her to have the ball, but it doesn't matter. Right around, up, and Schultz with the rebound. Fought for, fought for. Looks like a foul's going to be called on Spear. Livy Schultz does not give up on a ball, man. She is everywhere. She will go to the line. Spear picking up her first, team second. Livy Schultz makes the first. Aurora Hauserman now into the game as Braxton Cox sits. Second one is no good. Rebound fought in there. One by Barrett. She saved it over to uh, Hauserman. Tried to advance the ball to Cox and over to the Thunderhawks. Go deck. Around and up and down. Nice move in there. Rebound fought for. Foul. It's going to go on. Looks like Schultz is going to get the rebound or the foul call there as Austin had her boxed out. First personal for Livy Schultz. Fifth team foul. We'll see if Norm Valley can get something else figured out here with the press. 
it's a zone press that they're trying to trying to get something here, just not very smooth. So Austin Cox will take it up that side, but she gets caught in the corner. She works her way out of it, swing it over here to Hauserman and to Baird. Baird called for the travel. Drag the pivot foot just a little bit there. I think looking for something to do and kind of got lost in the action of the game. We'll turn the house day music down. Here's Godek. To Schultz. Schultz and Godek kind of going a, a, a two-man game here out front. They keep the crowd into it, and there is a crowd out there. I don't know if you picked it up on camera, which is great. Keisha has let us back in the building. Yes. Parents out there, their shoes squeaking on the floor. There's parents uh, cheering their teams on. It's an excellent thing here we have going here in Alameda, Northern Valleys. The matchup tonight with the Wheatland Grinnell has been a fun one. Yeah, it is. Usually this game would bring a full packed house from both sides, and it would be – rumbling in this place, but, you know, we'll take anything we can get, especially this year. Yeah, Anna Godak, I'm guessing she just took her eye off the ball, <laughs> kind of went right through her hands off the top of her noggin and out of bounds, and she smiled going, that's not the way that's supposed to work. Aurora Hauser, the Hauserman to get a nice shot there, just a little long. She Nobody guarded her. She stepped up and took it. Whitney here is working her butt off on defense as Northern Valley's into a full pressure deny situation, trying to press these get the Thunderhawks into a bad situation. Go deck. Oh, pump fake, an NBA three, nice little jump shot, banked up and in. It don't matter how it goes in. It goes in the books. That's, I believe, 18 for her in the half. Cox to swing it to Whitney. Whitney's going to drive in and kick to Hauserman. She's going to get called for the double dribble there, the turnover, and uh, Aurora Hauserman as uh, three subs here for Northern Valley. Vasteca, Bleca, and Tania Spear all come in. 28-12, Wheatler Grinnell is just really extending this lead here into the second quarter. Northern Valley needs to get make something happen here in the last three minutes of the half so that this game just doesn't quite get away from them. Pick and roll here by the Thunderhawks. Going to find Ostmeyer. She was fighting with it over there on the baseline. The Thunderhawks will control and take it out of bounds here with Godek. Schultz, swing all the way around to higher. Higher pump fake move, little lob into Schultz. Nice play, ladies. That was great play by... Um, uh, Osmar, nice little dump inside. Schultz make, makes the bucket look easy. Great looking play. If I had my replay button, you'd have had it that time. I tell you what. Blecka inside. Misses. Rebound. Fought for one by Mary Baird. She goes up. Blocked by Schultz. Fouled in there. Looks like Tania Spear got her. She was still battling for a rebound. Kind of came down there on Schultz. Yeah, Norton Valley, when they get down low, they got to expect pressure and just go up a little stronger and hope that they can get the foul and maybe even the, the bucket down there. Yeah, a little quicker maybe on the release might help too as the defense just gets to be swarming under there. Yeah, but you can expect that Wheatland Grinnell's not going to give up pressure, especially down there. Godek, the, the ball is going out of bounds, and Godek around the back to Schultz. And she's having fun Schultz, out there right now. Yes, that's what it is. It's confidence and, confidence and fun. Libby Schultz with another two points on that end. Is, the rebound is... Going to be controlled in there by uh, Hire, but uh, going to get called for the travel. Looks like Jordan Beckman into the game. And Haley Haberger will sit. Spear open in the corner. She's going to get a shot off. Fouled by Beckman. She'll go to the line. Jordan Beckman hadn't had a whole lot of minutes here tonight, but she does have a couple fouls. If she's out there, she's playing aggressive, and she's flying around to the ball. She's got to keep her feet on the ground just a little more. It looks like Sher Coach Cheryl Martin's got a game plan for her to do that, just to be completely aggressive out there. Yeah, if any coach around here has a good game plan, it's Cheryl Martin. The free throw goes begging there for Spear. She'll get a second opportunity. Here's Tania Spear. Short on that one, but one by Blecka on the rebound. Over to Vesteca. She's going to go around Beckman. Kick to Spear. 
Spear looking nice, yeah, cross court right. pass to Blecka, no Schultz good. Schultz controls the rebound, swings the elbows and said, my ball, get off of here. It's good vision by Tania Spear down there though, that's what you need to break this zone. You gotta have quick ball movement, and you gotta take advantage of those open windows. Godek gets a shot, misses it, gets her own rebound. Another shot up over there, controlled by Whitney. Whitney's gonna go coast to coast, loses the ball at the end. And Godek says, let's go the other way. Nobody's guarding Beckman. She's gonna fire a three, gonna be long. Controlled by Whitney, over to Blecka. 115 remaining here in the half. Jaden Spear in inside, all the way out around. Good ball moving here by the Huskies. Mary Baird thought she was going to fire a three. Vesteca will fire the three, just short. Mary saves it, but her foot's on the line. Going to go over to the Thunderhawks. Madison Zarr will enter the game here for the Thunderhawks, as well as five new Huskies. Jaden Spear, Austin Cox, Aurora Hauserman, Andy Hauserman, and Braxton Cox all enter what I call the hockey line. <laughs> Put your mouthpieces in, boys and girls, and jump over the jump over the box and into the, onto the ice. Here we go, another five, fresh five. It works great for this pressure man-to-man -man defense that That's Coach right. Cox likes to run. Yeah, and Coach Jody Cox is ready for it. She uh, she has her girls getting fresh on the bench and ready to go back in when she sees that there's a little bit of fatigue out there and uh, maybe a little bit of lackadaisical play. She's ready to put in a new five. Higher misses that three-point opportunity as. Another travel call down here by, uh, uh, that one's gonna go against Aurora Hauserman. Unfortunate travel, she got the basket to go, but of course it didn't count. Under 40 here to go, here's Godek. Nobody's gonna stop her, she's going all the way to the hole. Up, she misses it, Cox controls the rebound. Pushes hard the other way, she doesn't have numbers, she pulls out, working with 25 to go in the half. Swing all the way to Hauserman. Hauserman's gonna fire a three, just short off of Czar, gonna be out of bounds to Northern Valley. See what they can come up with here with 20 to go. Aurora to fire another three. This one just long, just but Jaden Spears gonna save it once. Now we're gonna go out of bounds, controlled by Wheatland. What do we got to do here, Aim? I think you got to guard her. I think you've got to put the pressure on her and you got to keep in front of her. Nothing easy before the half. That's what you don't want. Nice floater up there. It's no good as Braxton controls the rebound with five to go. Braxton working over here to Hauserman. She's going to fire a third three. This one's going to be no good. Yes, Beckman no will good. control the rebound, but that is the half. Gurnell to control the second half tip. 32 12, they lead. Here's Godek. I like the music. They should just play it the whole time like an NBA game, right? I agree. Schultz inside, pumps up and around. Nice move by Livy Schultz as she capitalizes on her first bucket of the second half. Doesn't look like she cooled off too much during halftime. Coming out of the gate swinging already. Man-to-man -man defense here by the, the, the Hawks. Mary Barrett over to Blecka. She's open for a shot. She's going to fire. It's going to go through. I uh, wasn't sure who that was in Northern Valley players' hands. Uh, couldn't control the offensive rebound. The Hawks will control. Northern Valley is still going to stay in this man-to-man, -man full court pressure. Trying to chase players everywhere. Trying to make some, some uh, opportunities, easy buckets, some steals. Godek to the rim. Up, misses with the left hand. The ball's going to be saved in there. Godak again. She's going to be fouled by Blecka, and she'll go to the line. Yeah, and if you're Northern Valley, you just want to grab that down there and try to head the other way. I, wasn't a bad idea, but this Wheatland Grinnell team has always got a nose for the ball. They're going to be trying to get there. I tell you what, the hustle, the hustle factor right now is definitely in their favor. Godak misses the free throw. They do. They have the hustle and the confidence on their side, and let's see if Northern Valley can get a little bit of that momentum on theirs. Second one up and good for Godek. No press coming out of the break. No press, but they're going to stay in the man-to-man. -man. As Northern Valley goes with a, like a high four out, now we're going four out, one in. 
See what Austin can do on the dribble. Over to Blecka. Blecka with a nice move here. Looking for a skip pass here to Baird. With that four out one in, you're going to want people on the backside setting screens and slashing and moving and trying to get open and help that person with the ball so that way they don't get stuck with it in their hands. All right, there's some good offensive movement here from Northern Valley. They've really struggled with that as of late, trying to figure out where to go, what to do. Cox puts it down, goes to the rim, scoops up, and no good. Schultz controls the rebound over to Godak. Haberger taking a look at things, skip it all the way around to Schultz. They got like a flex movement here. Um, right there is the cutter. She's open. That's Schultz, and she's going to score. Great entry pass there by Heyer as uh, uh, Carrie Heyer just uh, anticipates Schultz coming right across the lane, delivers the pass perfectly on time and scores. Yeah, and they're going to take that all night if it's given to them. Mary Barrett is looking like she's wanting to fire that three here. She's eyed it a couple times. She might let one loose here as they're giving her a little bit of space. Here's Whitney over to Baird. <laughs> Whitney into the corner. Northern Valley's needing some cutters, needing some movement here, making it difficult here. In that corner, holding the ball too long. Whitney to the rim, does not get the call. Great block in there by... I thought it was uh, I thought it was Osmeyer got that block. Nice flex movement, and boom, the easy bucket for Schultz again. Yeah. That offense that they're running there is creating a lot of easy buckets against this man-to-man -man defense. They just they're just moving across a couple of double screens and just making it work. Hustle play by there by Osmeyer to control the de defensively. Yeah, See, there it is. They come off this double screen here. Wide open shot. No good. But look who's after the ball everywhere. And the adjustments that Wheeling Grinnell made at halftime for this man-to-man -man is uh, paying off for him right now. Habiger taking it to the rim. She's going to get fouled. I don't know whether they're going to get Whitney or Blecka there. But uh, one of them, the ball's going to go underneath. Uh, number 20, Stephanie Whitney with the foul as uh, Habiger had put her herself into a position that she could get to the rim. Northern Valley sends in three subs, Vesteca, uh, Hauserman, and Tania Spear. A lot of cutting, a lot of moving, a lot of screening. They're just executing their offense, and if it's not there, they're just making the next play, getting a little getting a little aggressive there. Even if Schultz controls that pass, she's almost out of bounds underneath the basket. Tough play there. So the turnover goes over to Northern Valley. See if they can set theirs. Andy Hauserman up and no good. Rebound there by Mary Baird. Kicks back to Vesteca. Looks like we got a kickball by Godek and it'll stay here with the Huskies. Getting a little bit of a swallow here. The Husky girls just need to take a, a take a deep breath here and 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 fight through it here and do what's do what's asked of them. It looks like it's just a little bit of a scramble here right now for the Huskies. Yeah, and they're just trying to get the lid off the basket right now and find something that works. They've right got now, another four minutes here without scoring here. Okay. The drought continues. Schultz has a little inside to Habiger. No, excuse me. That's Carrie Heyer. Nice play by her. She gets caught underneath, but uses her pivot foot to bring herself back. Whitney fires a long three. Out of bounds uh, there by, by Habiger on the offensive rebound. Or, excuse me, the defensive rebound will go over to the Huskies. Jordan Beckman and Meg Madison Zarr into the game. 41-12, Wheatland Grinnell is extending their lead here in this third quarter. We're going to stay here with Northern Valley. Uh, 
Hauserman working on Beckman over to Spear. Now the Thunderhawks are in a zone defense here. Not bad ball movement, just ran into a wall there. Ran into a wall as, as Schultz playing great defense, is in perfect position as, uh, as she's just right there as Tania Spear kind of presses the issue just maybe a little too much and is called for the travel. The freshman Beckman now to control the point. Schultz, nice pass inside. Even a better block there by Mary Bear, but she steps out of bounds as she tried to control that own block. Great defensive play there by Mary. Lob inside to Zarr, blocked by Hauserman. Nice play by, Aurora, uh, by uh, Andromeda. Spears open in the corner, fires away, no good. Controlled inside by Jaden Spear, and the ball goes to the ground. Uh, Schultz and Stephanie Whitney go at it. Two girls that are uh, uh, pretty physical players inside. Neither one of them wanted to give much of an inch. No, they did not. They are out there laying their bodies on the line for their teams every single play. So you can expect a jump ball and a spar when they get close to each other. Spears inside, gets an opportunity, and she scores. That's Jaden Spear. Knocks the lid off the bucket for the Huskies here in the second half. Good defense there by the Huskies getting a shot into the uh, uh, passing lane as they were trying to skip pass to go underneath. Braxton Cox and Austin Cox will come into the game. Looks like Tania Spear and Stephanie Whitney to sit. Beckman's going to fire a shot here. Looks like they're going to get Czar on the, uh, the off-the-ball foul there. She's trying to make some space there, trying to get a rebound. Madison Czar's whistled for her second foul. Team's first foul of the half. Great steal by Godek. She's going to go all the way to the rim. She does not get it up the first time. She does the second time. No good. Foul's going to go again on Czar, I believe. As she comes in there trying to clean up that rebound, she gets caught behind the smaller Vesteca and uh, gets whistled for her third foul team, second foul on the night. And the bigger post player, you know, that we always get picked on when it comes to us against the guards, you know that. It, that seems to be always the case. <laughs> and not, not that uh, Vesteca wasn't in the perfect position there, yeah. but... Uh, uh, the bigger, the bigger players, the taller players, always seem to get what get that whistle. Also, great work by Vesteca though, getting into good position. Skip pass to Cox. She's going to fire a three, misses everything. Controlled by Habiger. Gosh, I continue to get Haley Habiger and Carrie Hire mixed up. I'm sorry, ladies. I should apologize to the, to their families at home there. Ossemeyer skipped pass, knocked out of there, but controlled by Godek. Anna Godek controlling and setting the offense. Here's Beckman with a jump shot in the lane. Opportunity up and in for Jordan Beckman. The freshman puts her first bucket in on the night. Blocked inside, there's Vesteca going to the rim. Madison Zarr's gonna get picked on again, it looks like. As Vesteca got that offensive rebound off the Cox miss and uh, cleaned up and went right to the rim. Zarr's gonna pick up her fourth foul on the night, third foul by the team, and Vesteca to the line to shoot two. Rattles in, rattles out, no good for Vesteca. <laughs> a 
Lane violation looks like it was in there. It looks like it was Jaden Spear who was, uh, she's always anticipating everything and she just gets just a little bit anxious on that one and uh, causes a ball to go over by the Thunderhawks. Just a little bit of a head start. Nice little lob pass in there to Schultz. She, do, she doesn't connect, but it was a great play. Looked like she, it looked like Godek was setting her up like she did in volleyball. Here's Cox going to fire a three, nothing but net for Austin Cox. Maybe that's why Austin Cox needs to get going for the Northern Valley Huskies here. Somebody's got to guard Anna. Get on the board. Nobody guards Anna, Anna an Godek, and she says, own. you've got to play defense. I wouldn't be surprised if Coach Jody Cox pulls whoever was guarding her, and I believe it was Austin because nobody was guarding her. Kicked out of bounds by Godek, and uh, we'll see it. We'll see it right here. Yeah, Austin Cox going to go sit down. If you can't identify a shooter, you're going to find yourself on a bench for Miss Miss Coach Cox. Especially if that shooter is Anna Godek tonight. Wow, I think that's her fourth three of the night. Or is it her that's fifth, her fifth three. three of the fifth night. Fifth three of the night. I can't even add. Travel called. It'll go over to the Hawks. Northern Valley staying in this man-to-man -man full court as we work under a minute to go, 40 seconds to go in the third quarter. Double team out here by the Huskies, leaving Godek wide open. This one goes a little long. That might be her first miss from three tonight. Yeah, I think so. I think she missed a couple from interior, but that's her first. Uh, going to get Schultz on the rebound position, fighting in there. Going to whistle her for a foul, kind of off the ball. Team fourth. This decade in for the skip pass to Hauserman. Hauserman with a foot on the line, misses, but Tania Spear there Good with a the rebound. She there. misses. Going to go off Tania Spear's knee as, as Osmeyer goes in there to save it. Great play by Isabella Osmeyer. Jordan Beckman's going to fire a three right here. Kabang! Jordan Beckman. It runs in the whole team. They're shooting extremely well from the outside here tonight. Here's Hauser. We're going to see if she can answer. And the foul's going to go against Tania Spear, I believe, as uh, the ball will go out of bounds here. See if the Thunderhawks can fire one off with 2.4 to go. Jordan Beckman hitting the bottom of the net with that last one. Just get it in and fire it up. They're going to make it. Ossemeyer in here to Haberger to half court to, oh, she does not get the shot off. Something else we noticed in the break. Can you get a shot of it, Aim? Yeah, the cheerleaders over there. Bringing some holiday cheer into the valley over here. They're Christmas, Christmas sweaters. sweaters and, um. <laughs> as, as everybody's got some holiday cheer, the fourth quarter begins with the Thunderhawks controlling the ball. Anna Godek's going to pump. She's going to slide over, fire a three, no good. Rebound controlled in there by Austin Cox. A little holiday cheer for everybody, huh? Yeah, Norton Valley needs to get some holiday cheer of their own, and maybe they'll come with some scoring here in the fourth quarter. They need to figure something out and they just figure need, it out fast. Yeah, they just need some confidence. And you know what? Miss Livy Schultz, he, she isn't going to back down whatsoever. She never has the whole time I've ever seen her play a sport. She is not going to stop competing. Yeah, she is not lacking in confidence, and neither is the rest of this Thunderhawks team right now. And uh, I don't know why they would be. They're, they're doing everything they want to and more. Long pass, Godek to Beckman. Beckman up and in. Beckman's hot in the second half. Seven for her in the second half. Golden Valley calls out a play. We're calling number four here. See what we got here. Blecka going to go around. Beckman kick back to Baird. Baird's going to be open for a shot. Draws iron. Blecka there for the follow. And Jordan Beckman's going to get whistled for the foul. Blecka, Ray Lee Blecka, to the line to shoot two. Oh, no. I kicked the camera. Oh, man. Aim, you're going to have to talk. <laughs> All right, I got you. Blecka's first shot, nothing but net. That makes the score 18 to 51, Northern Valley. We'll see if she can get the second one as well here. And that's off the back iron, but it's, ooh, it looks like 
an offensive rebound by Mary Baird, but she gets tripped up in a travel call. Good thing she didn't roll her ankle a little bit there. It looked kind of bad at first, but she gets up and walks it off, and we're heading the other way. Oh, I'm almost there on that score clock, but, man, it just keeps wanting to jump back on me. And it looks like a foul on Rayleigh Blecker right there, kind of getting a little too shovey down there, running to man-to-man -man offense. Well, you'll just have to believe us for right now. I'll catch it in between games. 51-18, uh, Wheatland Grinnell up here as uh, the – the running clock here in the fourth quarter on a 30 point or more lead. Fourth quarter is going to go here pretty quick as the clock will not stop. We got a blocking foul by Blecka uh, out of bounds to the Thunderhawks. And bad things happen if you give up baseline. You're either going to give up points or you're going to get a foul, and that's what we see right there, and, uh, especially in that man to man offense. That's a nice point. Every time you let somebody go around you to the baseline side, not a lot of good things happen. I'd never heard that when I was playing, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Beckman with the hot hand. She's got a little floater, doesn't go. Bizarre with the rebound. She's going to clean it up, just go off the side. It's like I think it's going to go over to Northern Valley. I thought Zar was going to make that one go down. Basteka going to come in for Whitney. Four and a quarter left to go here in the fourth quarter. 51-18. We did not anticipate that this was going to be quite the blowout, but those uh, juniors there for for uh, uh, the Thunderhawks had other other intentions as they played a solid game. Austin Cox is going to go to the line here as she draws a foul, but um, good structure, good movement. They didn't have a whole lot of turnovers through this one. Just. Uh, just making the smart play. Yeah, and overall they played really clean basketball, especially for being a physical team and uh, not wanting to give up easy baskets down next to the hoop and running that press for most of the game. It's just pretty impressive coaching and playing all around. They came to town and uh, they had their A game coming and unfortunately Northern Valley can't really keep up with them this time around. Now Black is going to go get the offensive rebound on the hustle play. Foul's going to go against Godek. Uh, as she got beat on the offensive rebound there by Blecka, and Blecka made her pay. She's going to go to the free throw line, see if she can knock these two in. The first one goes begging a little bit, uh, but she'll have another attempt here at this one. Yeah, and even though this isn't the game that Norton Valley wants, you can guarantee that these girls are going to keep fighting until the end. Yeah, that's one thing we have seen from Northern Valley as of late. Is good follow-up, offensive rebound there. Two offensive rebounds by Austin Cox. Godek comes out of that one, going to flip it over here, up and, oh, that does not go as and she ends up with it. She, what a fight for it. Jordan Beckman up and in. And the hot hand stays hot. Jordan, Jordan Beckman, Beckman in the second half. Having quite a half. Nine in the second half for Jordan Beckman. And she's got some confidence in her. You can see that. Yeah, she's looking to shoot every time she gets the ball right now. And why not? Three-pointer by Hauserman, going to miss it all, but Bistek is there for the rebound. Jordan Beckman gets beat uh, trying to secure that rebound. She's going to be called for the foul. Vesteka to the line. Once again, we're in the fourth quarter here with the running clock. Two minutes to go. Wheeling Grinnell uh, jumped out to an early lead in that first quarter, uh, uh, 20 to 10, and just never, never looked back. No, they did not. And they've stayed hot pretty much the whole time. And um, every change that Northern Valley's tried to get to slow them down, they've had an answer for. And, uh, and those answers have pretty much been Godek and, and Schultz this game. It has been. Blecka with a nice jumper there. Nothing but net. She had her toes on the line. Otherwise, she'd have had a three-pointer in the books. Foul's going to be called on Blecka. We're going to shoot one and one. That's, this is the deal. One and one with a minute 20 to go. It's going to eat up a lot of clock here. Yeah, I'm sure they're not going to be in any hurry to get these up. No. As Blecka's going to sit with her for fourth personal foul of the night and Tania Spear in. And the 
First one goes. Nice, pretty shot there by Haberger. Haley Haberger nails that first free throw. A little long on the second one. Jane Spear with the rebound there. Beautiful rebound and block out. A little bit of a creative shot there, but we're at the end of the game. We're just trying to get something to go, that's for sure. Well, good comment. Beckman, the hot hand, she's going to fire for three misses. Going to go off the – oh, it's going to go back to the Thunderhawks. Working under 20 seconds to go here. I'd like to thank you, Aim Baird, for stepping up here and helping me out here on the color side of it. And uh, it's stolen here by Jaden Spears. She's not going to give up on anything as she goes chasing a ball across the gymnasium. Tough get there on the, I don't know if you got it there on your camera work. It's always gloating and saying yes. how good a game job you did there on your first action here as your cameraman. But that's going to be the game, folks.